What's up guys, another day what sold on eBay and I'm actually slowly becoming a very niched out into Pokemon. Obviously I will sell other things but it's becoming more and more Pokemon, especially now that I'm in Florida uh, for another couple of weeks. I couldn't bring any of my bigger inventory but a few of those things, snacks and stuff. And I have not been listing much of those things so I've been only listing Pokemon but at the same time I've been selling Pokemon like non-stop. I have another 10 orders, but multi-quantity, a lot of them. So every time I sell multiple quantities, each card I save 69 cents or so. So let's see what's sold. But yeah, niche is so important because that way I know exactly which item are uh, going to cost me uh, to ship out. I know exactly what kind of packages I need. Whenever I try to ship a knife, this could be a knife like this big and it could be as big a machete. So different type of boxes all the time, different type of packages. It takes up so much space. Whenever I'm niched out into Pokemon cards, that's my entire inventory. And this is probably a couple thousand cards. Don't forget multi-quantity a lot of times. So it's not even going to be a couple thousand listings. I know it's a mess a little bit because I'm in a process out here of uh, kind of like emergency selling. This is my packages. Envelopes, uh, bigger envelopes for uh, cards over $20 and I will ship boxes like this for now. I have uh, folding boxes, I'm out because in Florida I don't have much. So I uh, do multi-quantity in boxes. Uh, if it's a single card, like a hundred dollar card, I'll ship it in one of these with the um, top loaders. Soft top loaders, so these top loaders, and then I cover them up in this uh, team bags. So that's what's so cool about being niched out. It saves a lot of time on um, shipping, listing, and everything like that. Anytime I ship oversized item, it's so annoying to list it because I have to find a box for it. Most of the time I have to uh, package it up, uh, kind of like make sure it fits in a box and weigh it and I have to measure the box and know uh, the weight of it and the measurements before I list it. It takes a lot of time and energy, which every time we do that, we lose an uh, hourly rate. So by niching out, I can list up to, let's say I could do 60 listings, multi quantity of 10 each cards. That's like 600 cards in each card is like, let's say $2, 600 multiplied by two, what is it? $1,200 an hour. The only issue would be like finding those things, which is pretty easily. Um, I can buy lots, I can open it make some money from the videos, sell the hits, sell the extra hits because I do collect them, I enjoy it a lot. So I think the biggest takeaway after a year, why you want to find a niche on eBay, you want to find something you're really interested in, like maybe certain books genre, and then slowly finding only like signed books or like first editions only the most valuables have the cheap ones and most valuables only the best quality same thing with pokemon coins and everything else niching out into something save you time and makes your um like a value like of time or uh, more you can make more money an hour by working with one niche that's what i have learned i still will sell some weird stuff here and there but i really enjoy selling same thing over and over and over again but different you know print let's see what sold because we have quite a few uh, sales to book i have right here pokemon charizor ex 151 really popular card please add the sign card love your channels and i'm a huge fan so it's a viewer sale and also roaring moon quantity one so what we're looking for is fire and Charizard, so with the C, I don't know if you guys have seen my videos yet or watching it for the first time. This is another reason why I want to niche out into one um, thing, because look how easy it is. I know exactly where everything else, where everything is. I mean, there is a dark energy, Aurora and Moon, so with the R. 
uh, half of it will spread out a little bit. I have two different kinds of uh, moons. I think this is the one sold. Let's double check. And the best part is like they all have a number uh, on the um, card idea. Right there. So like a mini serial number. So yeah, that's it. And total of twelve dollars. Two cards. Uh, one ninety-seven cents shipping. Two cards and. Uh, I think I have one sign card already, but I would like to have multiple orders. If you want a um, sign card, definitely do more than two cards. So that way I'm not sitting here signing cards all day. But yeah, thank you for your support. Here you go, CRH, my signature. Next one is Mew, uh, $9. And you know what's cool about this Mew's psychic? Uh, that set is going up the UPC is 151 going up in Valor so much the entire set going up in Valor so much To where I think nine dollars is a good deal. They're gonna probably explode in Valor soon More bread and butter sales for three dollars uh, Where is that? I could buy in bulk probably 75 cents each, but I would have to buy a whole bunch of them um, that is like a zombie the A. Uh, so 69 cent shipping so I'll profit about two dollars I am a little bit less but multi quantities that's when it's really good money. This next order is a monster order for hundred and fifteen dollars and one dollar and thirty two cents shipping. So look at all of these cards. I just listed them yesterday, I see. Wow, look at that. Boss's order, a whole bunch of them. So we're gonna have to pull all of these cards. I have a lot of those. We can press on each one of them and see how much quantity they order. All these trainers I'm listing, and as you can see, somebody bought them all. And and it with Charizard and a Mew, sealed Mew. All right, go one at a time. So let's see. This one is fire and it's start with the C. Also just listed. So fire, C. Oh, he also bought this one. So definitely going to do the um, signature for this person. That's a monster order. I get to save quite a bit of money on shipping for sure. Not sure to be exact, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot. I'm just listing all of these trainers and I have a lot more trainers to list uh, there's gonna be a lot of shiny trainers those are more valuable ones so trainers will be a little bit harder to pull because I don't have the alphabetic alphabetic slips on it or like cards because I just run out of them I didn't know how much I needed I had to order it online but I have a lot there's a boss's order there's more buses order, um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of them, so we'll pull it out as we need it. This person bought these two, and there's an, a lot more. Let's see what's his name. Big thanks to Joshua. Okay, Oggy Doggy Dog, quantity one right here. So as you can see, it's super easy. So we're looking for O. No, that's a Q. That Q and the O are very similar, but. Now that card is spreading out, it's getting easier and easier to find everything I need. Where's the pile right here? Okay, next. Okay, next one is a gold one. I have gold cards um, with the M separated in a different pile. Where is it? Right here, I'm sitting on it. Um, so, this is gold, this is shiny energy. So with the M, Boom, super easy. You see how easy it is to find them? Um, what else? More trainers, looks like. This is like, I think, under $5, maybe $6. Probably. Um, so, I'm probably going to pull them all out. Okay, I think we sold this one as well. All this day. I still have a lot of good ones, 151. I think we need all these three, so it's a monster order. This is so awesome. Only $115. I 
I spend a lot more buying those. So yeah, next one is this one. And next is Pikachu. Um, so fire, I was gonna go in here and looking for P, there's a P. Did not list electric cards yet. I need to list all those electric cards going into the pile. So this one's going in a pile as well. Don't wanna forget. Okay, let's see. Psychic. Oh man, I got move out of the way because we got a bunch of sidekick cards. Cards in here, I'm pretty sure this one was also sold. And with the V, so I'm going to the V section. There's a V, but it's supposed to have one more. Surprise, they're selling so fast. A couple months ago, they would not sell, and now they're the most popular car. They sold like four of them, maybe, maybe more. So just never know. Next is a bus's order. I already pulled that one out. I pulled that one. Okay, dark. This is starts with the leopard. Lip also. L. Where's the L? There you go. Okay, this one, but we need this one. Boom. Another one. A huge pile. So it's all going into box and it's gonna be much easier to ship them in a nice shipping iron violet gold so looking for i yeah thank you so much for supporting my channel i have a lot of this autosomes like probably six of them even right here not counted one there's a barely charm it's kind of cool okay we're looking for i there you go I need to list more so it spreads out a little bit so that way it's easier to look to all the cards okay but I don't have that many gold cards they sell in really fast okay oh man I have a lot of this it's a dark and this is Picharant Picharant surprise they're selling good so with the P I have a lot of them because I opened so many um, this is a promo from Elite trainer box. Okay, it's a lot cheaper because I would rather buy booster bundles and order that card if I need it. Okay, this card is also sold. There is I only have two of them. Some good cards right here. Wow, that's a big pile. The biggest pile in one purchase I ever done so far. Thank you so much, Joshua. We pulled that one already. Surprise this stuff sells so fast fire. This is nice Okay uh, With the M Looking for the M. There you go M. The X is I'm looking for that shiny. There it is That's getting a big pile. Also, I'm shipping with top loaders as well So I'm just including it into the price and this Poma Charizard. I think it's sold for nine dollars So start with the ABC. There it is Oh, I have one more, nice. If you need one, go get it. Supports me pretty good. I can keep opening, making videos, opening Pokemon. Okay, sealed uh, Mew. Sealed Mew. I have uh, sealed Mews like this one and I'm sealed Mews, so whatever you guys want. Okay, boom. And that's pile. Uh, I need to do sign card, probably couple. I'll do two signed cards because it's a monster order. Biggest one uh, order in a quantity, multi quantities ever. We'll see if somebody beats it. But yeah, let's see what else we sold. Another Pikachu, $4. Sold out. No, oh, this one. Boom, no more Pikachus. Wow, that's quick. So that's a single order right there. Bread and butter. It'll be like $3 profit maybe. Ooh, getting some graded cards from the mystery boxes. Espion, uh, Korean. Okay, where's my graded cards? I have no idea. By the way, there's some cool information. These boxes are made for graded cards. This one is for non-graded. I run out of space almost, but that is a non-graded cards. This is what I have, and the graded cards will fit here so easily, and I can 
do the same thing alphabetically and go to them but it's so easy maybe organize them by water and everything this is a multi-order idea multi-quantity order actually but somebody bought one card at the time and whenever they do that whenever you buy one card at the time instead of editing all of the items of the car and check it out i get to save uh, 30 cents in insertions fee per order but because um, uh, this person order one card at the time i have to pay extra 30 30 cents per item which is fine i'm still very grateful for supporting it if you want to buy one card at the time for some reason that's fine too um but yeah that's a big order right here too this is the same person bought all of this and there's aspian v let's see three dollars and it's a site psychic so a b c d e is you see so we're looking for aspian v boom so a bunch of cards i'm still happy because i get to save a lot more on shipping as well um so i forgot yeah whenever somebody buys like 10 cards or more i get to uh, save 30 cents in certain fee or if it's under 20 dollars 30 cents if it's over 20 dollars 40 cents each time plus shipping so i get to save almost a dollar on a multi quantity so i'm definitely making the most amount of money with this niche whenever people buy multi quantity and it's very common whenever people buy multi quantities but nothing wrong with singles as well single buys because it is a bread and butter sales as well uh, those four dollars three dollar cards and two dollar cards it zones so quickly so i'm really happy about every single sale like this one uh 151 uh etb snorlax so this is going to be this one and wow i opened up a lot of those and etbs are now going up on value to 80 dollars pokemon 151 so it's going to be a very uh expensive card really soon i think it's going to go up in Valo. and that's it so while i'm doing this and that's what i like about um niches because we could really save a lot of uh, value by multi quantities versus there is nobody buying five hundred dollar knives it's just unreasonable but pokemon is very common a lot of people have playing decks that is uh, close to a thousand dollars two thousand dollars depends on the hits that they put in into those decks so i really like that niche we'll see where we're going to take it i'll try to list as, as much as possible and talk about it and hopefully it will really go and maybe in the future i'll buy in collections film about it on my pokemon channel links in the description my ebay account in the description as well and yeah we can see how much i can profit on some of these collections as well or mystery boxes some mystery boxes are not so good but some are really good to where you can actually sell them into profits by selling them by singles. So anyways, another one uh, what's sold on eBay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.